provide some concept as we go along. Shall we bring each other first to morning mark? Last night I played a game for Sim P6. Why? Uh, 
So from the solvent front to the start line, what is the distance traveled? That is the distance moved by the solvent. Oh, you measure it here. Okay. Everyone measure it should be the same, because we have the same paper. I say again, uh, distance is from the start line to the solvent front. What is the distance moved by the solvent? Okay. Then what's the distance moved by the ink drop free? Start to free. Yes. Oh, okay. Why, what's wrong? Oh, how uh, you know? Oh, I see. Is it very instructive for you? Yeah. Maybe you want to put it silent? Okay. okay. Joshua, you just asked to try to measure, is it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Joshua asks, do you measure, because the dot is quite big, right? Do you measure at the end of the dot, or do you measure the data, uh, the earlier part of the dot? Um, you can measure up to the end of the dot. Yes. There's a what shape? Uh, for which one? Oh, okay, so for M and 2, we see that there are many, right? Okay, so that's why uh, when we ask you to compare RF value, usually we'll tell you specifically a particular ink that only has one. Okay? If we want to ask you to calculate RF value of number 2, it's actually not possible because there are three different inks inside. But we can ask you, can you calculate the RF value for this ink? and this ink and this ink separately. Okay. So this ink over here number two has actually three different RF values that you can calculate. But we just practice for now. Can you calculate the RF value for ink number three? And to do so is to measure from the start to three and from the start to the solvent front. Everyone should get roughly the same number. Got your ruler to practice measuring. How would you mean? Oh, no, so this is moved by the ink. If we start the ruler at the start and the end of the drop, that's the distance moved by the ink. What is it meaning? Oh, okay. Take us. You can round it, round it up. Try now, use your ruler, then we can all see what we get. Yes.
Divide by solvent, not solvent divided by ink. Your RF value should never be larger than one. It will always be less than one. It can be very close to one, be 0 0.9 something, something, something. But it will never be more than one. If it's more than one, you know that you calculated it wrongly.
data with someone else without sharing a paper, technically what you could do is then incorporate the RF value of every single ink and just share with them the RF value. Okay? So an RF value is just another way of expressing the data. Okay, I want all of you to think right now. If the higher the RF value, the further or lesser the ink drop travel. Okay, so multiple choice. Huh? Do you think that the higher the RF value, the further or lesser the ink drop travel? Okay, so mathematically, you all can see. Yeah? Because if the distance moved by the ink, if it increases, right, the larger and larger the RF value will be. So the RF value is also useful for this purpose. The higher the RF value, we know that the ink drop travels very far. Okay, one last thing. Yes? Ah, okay. So Xavier asks, can the RF value be exactly one? Meaning, uh, let's say we have one ink droplet that is 4.4 cm. Okay, what this means is that the ink travels as fast as the solvent, right? So, could it happen? It could. Okay, so if you were to ever see a value that is equals to 1, we know that the ink drop now travels as fast as the solvent. Okay, so the higher the RF value, the further the ink drop travels. It also means the more soluble the ink drop is. The word soluble means how well some, a solute dissolves in the solvent. If something dissolves very well, it will actually travel very fast with the solvent. If it doesn't dissolve very well, it will not travel as fast in the solvent. Yes? When the RF value increases, why can't it mean that the solvent response increases? Oh, okay. If the RF value increases, why can't it mean that this one decreases, right? Okay, that's because usually in more, all the experiments we do, we use one solvent only. It's a standard solvent. We either use water or we use ethanol. Uh, and so there's no variation, it's usually fixed. Is that a question? Yeah? Uh, what, okay, imagine this is a solvent Yes. If we let this experiment continue running, imagine we have an infinitely long paper. Okay? We have a paper that is not short, uh, it's very, 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 very long. Okay? This is the solvent front with the ink drop. Okay? This is at time one second. Maybe after um, maybe after 30 seconds, the line reaches here and the ink droplet is here. Okay? After two hours. Okay, after two hours, infinitely long, huh? The solvent front has reached here, but you know where the ink droplet will be? It will still be the same distance behind. Okay? So, RF value tells you how fast the ink droplet will travel within the distance the solvent travels. That means to say, if the solvent travels this far, the ink droplet should also travel at the same rate. Uh, that, that means the RF value will not change if, even if the amount of time you give changes. Yes? Uh, it could be, it just depends on how long you leave the paper there for. If you leave for too long, the solvent front may, may hit the end of the paper. Yes? It's not at the same level. It is consistently behind the solvent front and by the same distance.
Part two is something we expect you to be able to do. You must use your ruler, lah. Okay, we will not provide you the value. You need to use a ruler to measure. The only thing I notice students do wrongly is that they may take the solvent divided by the ink rather than ink divided by solvent. That's the only mistake I see. Let's go to part three. Why is there a cover on the tank? Okay, we put a cover on the tank because we do not want the solvent to evaporate away. If it all evaporate away, then there's nothing to carry the ink along. Yes, Karen? The solvent that we use in the lab that day with your Skittles is water. But she, in practice, uh, in practice, we normally use an alcohol called ethanol because it dissolves things better. Water is not that good at dissolving. Sorry, you missed the whole thing.
come to the end of the chapter for, for your quiz. So we are done. Uh, we are a bit fast. So I, since we are only going to go through the paper next week, I only have one hour more. You may do your papers now to practice. Any, any paper you want. Yeah. Friday, Friday or have some. We can, I will likely go through the next topic. No. So, uh, yeah, just relax. Uh. Oh, you need to go for a toilet break. You go so. Yeah. For those that wrote your papers, you can read your papers now. So they don't waste time. Oh yeah, uh, you text books ready? Yeah. Where is it? Is it? Uh, next topic will be something like air. Air, like, like the air. We're going to learn about the air. Yeah, from the shop air. Air, most of the things are air that don't smell. Uh, no, we just want to learn about what's air. It's a very, very short topic. Look at that! Look at what? That sounds so wrong. FYI. Oh, Chuck's here. I thought we finished reading this, so I thought we finished reading this. Can you wait for the rest to come back first? Let me continue drawing. Thank you for reminding me. I thought we were done with it. Your friends are back from toilet break. Um, sorry, I realized we didn't complete this particular OP. So we'll complete this, then you can continue with your revision. Okay.
Uh, again from the so side, you are in. Oh, sorry, no. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. So I got one line. Oh, I don't know why you can wait the line. Can you stay at the top of the base? It's up to you. Yeah, but it's too short. It's too short, bro. Yeah, it's too short. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's a ruler. If your hand is a kind of scramble. Yeah, it's a ruler. If your hand is a kind of scramble. Yeah, it's a ruler. If your hand is a kind of scramble. Uh, this is a cap. 
get a burette it has a tap to regulate how much liquid flows out of it on top of that for the burette I need you to draw in some lines to represent the measurements um, I've labeled it so that I know what it is you can label it because this is new to you you don't need, you don't need to label <coughs> The, the last part over here, you can make it a bit thinner. 